Hey everybody, this is, um, I said I would make a video of this Bible that, um, that I offered uh, to auction. And this is a, uh, a John Brown self-interpreting Bible, and I'll explain what that is. The size of this, uh, first of all, it's leather. The, the binding is really, really good. Uh, it's got the name of the original owner uh, engraved in it. Um, I'll turn it up here so you can see the the end of it. This Bible weighs 25 pounds. Let's show you the back. There are some very light scratches. Uh, there's no damage. Um, the binding is tight. All right, so the dimensions, uh, 16, almost exactly 16 and a half. The width, if you go out, because it, 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 it uh, bends out here, if you go out to there, it's about 12 and a half. And then the thickness is right at four and three quarters. Let me show you the, uh, one of the nicest things about this Bible. First of all, Francis A. Town was the owner, original owner. Sarah, come here. This uh, binding is tight, but I don't want to flip that open. I want you to hold that right there. And this is his, um, part of the provenance of the book. This is his funeral notice. And you'll see here, it says funeral service of Francis A. Town, March 6th, 1908. He died on March 3rd, which I found out online. He was um, a, a prominent uh, businessman in the marble industry in Saratoga, New York. Uh, and there's a lot of history to uh, his family there in Saratoga, New York. So one of the nicest things about this Bible are these steel cut, the steel cut artwork throughout the whole, um, the whole Bible. And this is a picture of uh, Luther, Melanchthon, and others uh, translating the Bible. Um, but throughout the entire work, there are uh, these beautiful, can you get a close up look? The beautiful steel cut uh, artwork. So this is a self-interpreting self Bible. Uh, from Reverend John Brown. It has a built-in commentary. It also explains um, the uh, policy or the, the uh, position of every book, uh, how to understand the, the, the Bible in, in its place. It's got graphs and uh, of timing of years, much like um, in Bishop Usher's book. There's appendix so you can understand weights and measures. But when you get into the actual... Bible itself, this is the Garden of Eden uh, picture, and like I said in my uh, email, I think these, these pictures are probably worth more than the whole book, as far as the, the just the value. Um, anyway, so that there's a uh, commentary that runs throughout, of the, throughout this, and also a uh, interpretive scheme, so, uh, but like I said, the whole thing is, is in great shape, the binding is good. Weighs about 25 pounds and that's about it.